So I got this package. Let's see what it is. I had to get the good old trusty knife. Let's see. Let's see. Imagine it's not what I think. Actually, I don't know. Yellow tape. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? Booyah, son. Booyah. Can you guess what it is yet? Uh, if you can't guess what it is, yeah. Which is crazy. But yeah, so got another turbo I downsized. This is pretty much the same turbo that Alonso has because the turbo I have is just a bigger, I think a compressor size. Hoping, I'm hoping the back flange is the same, should be. It's a five bolt, but off really it kind of looks a little different. I'm gonna go put it near, near the real turbo though. Turbo that's already on there. Oh, actually, I have another turbo I could compare it to. Oh, I think I have to port it. What did we do last time? What did we port? All right, guys. So this is the turbo. I well, not the same. It's the same. It's not the same one. I have to. This is actually the newer one. This was a super old. Maybe that's also a reason that it's leaking or something. But it's still good. This thing's solid. So this is the new turbo that we're going to put on. Pretty much this is a little bit smaller. And this one is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit more flow. So it's a little bit tighter. I mean, you could tell a big difference right there. Now what I'm concerned about, even this, I guess if they're the same, like you can even see the difference right here on the hot side. But yeah, it looks like we should be good, huh? I think the turbo is going to be a little closer to the engine. I hope that doesn't cause any issues. But yeah, I'm going to start taking off my old turbo because it looks like we're good. So I just took out a bunch of the, pretty much the piping and then the oil feed line. And it looks like this one is definitely failing, this gasket right here. So I'm assuming that was actually the problem. There it is, the turbo's out. There's no bolt on that other side. I don't know how it's still on there. Oh, this one's falling off. So I guess it's a good bolt check. So on update, guys, um, kind of, I'm freaking kind of struggling, but it's worth it. So I tightened this one up, this bolt, which is the same as this side, to the manifold, to the exhaust manifold. I went to AutoZone, got some of this exhaust gasket maker and i actually put it on the thread so hopefully it helps i want to have done that one he put in the turbo the first time and then right now i had already ordered these because i don't know if i ever mentioned it but my wastegate keeps backing out like, these kept falling off so i ordered these long ones and honestly this last time it didn't fall out even without it i didn't even i was running without a gasket i put a gasket in it and then these long ones so i'm gonna put a nut on this side and same on the back side but right now i'm kind of struggling tightening up the back side it's almost there, I just need to tighten it. Other than that, we're just going, going and going. The drain line's on. This should, theoretically, I clocked it like the old one was. But it should just bolt right on. I'm going to transfer over the exhaust uh, flange onto it after. And then it should be quick as heck after that. <laughs> oh, he got it. Alright, so update on the turbo <laughs> uh, on the turbo build, turbo swap. The old one's out. I fixed uh, the bolts, I said, and then swapped everything over and just got this in. Uh, the boost line was cracked, so that's what I also just did. He took off the the boost line and uh, and <laughs> you want some change or what? We <laughs> them with what was going on. And uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you gotta be happy. 
<laughs> and uh, uh, spare change. <laughs> and uh, we had a really good race. And uh, <laughs> the, the strangler, uh, <laughs> the bikini bottom strangler. I know he wants to strangle me with his diabolical hands. I hope they're not dirty. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the turbo is in and pretty much we just need the the oil line, put this back on. I would say just cut the hard part, route it through the top instead. You're gonna need some more, oh you're loco for that one. Yeah, that's, how, that's how I cut my finger. Nice and gentle, gentle. Sorry boys, we didn't get any action on that clip. Maybe the next one. <laughs> gentle. Gentle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't even reach my hand to the bottom. This turbo is so small. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> you have more room for activity. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucked up my nerves on that one. I hope you have insurance. <laughs> Damn. So it looks like you didn't have to bang up your frame rails. Just kidding, that's not the frame rails. Well, we're just gonna tighten everything up and then we'll record once we get the first start. Let's go. Cool. Alright guys, so everything's back on. Look at that. The hands. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't started it, so let's see what happens right now. I'm gonna clean up real quick and then try to start it. So it's on, and I don't know if you guys remember, but my other turbo would not spool at idle. Up guys it's actually the next day um the last clip i recorded i think was just turning it on i drove it yesterday and i forgot to tighten the coupler to the turbo so it wasn't boosting i did drive it but i wasn't boosting uh, i think i boosted once and it just didn't feel and i'm that good and then i was just running rich which i haven't messed with the tune or anything so it's probably gonna still be rich right now but i'm gonna drive it i tighten that up hopefully i'm boosting i cut a piece of my hood off too so we'll see what happens right now i'm still keeping it under boost but right now when i made a turn i had a turn kind of quick and i felt like it lit up quick so holy shit yeah this thing lights up i think it's only like quicker by five 5k Man, he don't want the smoke Man, I can't give it to him while recording best there is plain and simple I mean I wake up in the morning I piss excellence and nobody can hang with my stuff uh, you know I'm just a I'm just a big hairy American winning machine if you ain't first you're last
about the AFRs, but uh, <laughs> and it's hot as fuck in here right now. 